Welcome to ACCA Strategic Business Leader for the latest pricing for the June 2024 exam. Now, the case information, the case name for the upcoming sitting is called Procural Wet Services Company, or we can call it as the PVS Company. And in my pre-scene application notes, I'll prepare you for approximately 18 chapters to go through the uh, company in the vectoring service industry. And of course, this is my younger brother, is the teddy dog, and this is myself. And chapter one, I will be going through all the pre-scene with in-depth practical application in this industry, followed by the macro environment using pestle analysis, and then the micro environment using a five forces analysis about this industry's profitability. And if this company operates uh, overseas or expanding overseas, Porter's Diamonds will come in, the SWOT analysis, Porter's value chain, summarizing all the uh, internal uh, bits of the company uh, about the competitiveness. And then using a cultural web analysis and uh, mixing with leadership. And then chapter nine, talking about project and change management, followed by talent management in chapter 10. Because uh, in this company, the, according to the pre seen information, the staff turnover uh, is slightly higher than in the previous years. The IT control, that's important. Ethical issues, board leadership and effectiveness, and most important of all, chapter 15, there'll be various reports, including the audit difficulties, and I will show you the current SBL exam style of how this topic may be tested in various reports. And also, talking about the environmental standards that we have never covered in previous pre seen analysis before, because perhaps it's time that uh, in June exam that this topic may come up. Uh, and also the uh, corporate social responsibility activities, e-procurement, marketing mix, and to promote cyber security in the final chapter. So this is my plan. Okay, now before we move any further, the study packages that we offer, firstly, yes, only this note can be downloadable, which means the PDF note pre seen application package. If you enroll in silver package, it also includes the videos like this, approximately 3.5 hours going through all the pre seen all of those 18 chapters, and including two mock exams that will mark it for you with constructive feedback and the tutor support. Now, if you enroll in the revision package, of course, not only includes the previous ones, but also includes my own summary as well as the past pre seen go through, especially for a summary which will be absolutely valuable for your exam success with only 45 pages summary and another 3.5 hours lectures summarizing all the syllabus areas in the SBL. If you enroll in the full package, you will also be getting the tuition lectures and other question practice videos and notes and so on. Okay, now let's jump into the pre -seam. As always, the ACCA divided the pre seen material, firstly related to the industry, followed by the information related to our company. Now, we have got the section one talking about the introduction of the industry and also details the industry in the fake country, which is Ireland in this time, about the overview services provided, market structure, industry outlook, client challenges, innovation and industry bodies. Okay, an example of stakeholder, for example. Related to our company, it's called PVS Limited, the background strategic position ownership, board and organisation structure, IS services, supplies and risks. And of course, just to give you a flavour is that our company uses the differentiation strategy right now. About the financial information and also the website extract. 
Now, in this particular video, firstly, I would like to take you through to these paragraphs, okay? So, to familiarize yourself of what sort of things that you need to know. Firstly, our company is called PBS, and we provide pet veterinary services in Ireland, established for 32 years. It's the fifth largest organization in the industry. Okay then. However, according to my analysis regarding the company in this industry, it's very likely that we operate in the monopolistic competition market structure. So this means that there will be lots of competition in the marketplace. Okay, so I would say that services are very, very tough for you to differentiate from one or another. So this is the reason why we need to be super efficient when we are operating the business. And of course, we may be thinking about to consolidate, consolidate the market by merging and acquiring other similar businesses in the, in the industry. So this could be one of the ways that we can think about that. Now, how about in Ireland? Our overview is that the pet vet services industry, yes, it provides healthcare for pet and organizations employ specialist staff. So for example, for example, these doctors are called veterinarians and also nurses, okay? Uh, they deliver service in clinics. And we also told us that usually pets are domesticated or tamped because they will live with human beings. They will be acting as a source of companionship or to please the human beings. Now, there will be a lot of Animal. There would be cats and dogs, birds, reptiles, for example, snakes, and the rodent, uh, so for example, squirrel, and so on. Now, veterinarians need to study in university for five years, taking very difficult exams such as ACCA qualification and on the job training to gain experience. Okay, now, we have summarized all these information in just a few bullet points, firstly, we provide service in our country for 32 years and what we provide and so on. But now I would like to take you through to a bit of in-depth applications that sort of things that you need to know. Now, don't get me wrong. ACCA specifically says that don't do excessive industry research. This does not necessarily mean that you simply look at the pre-scene and then move on. But if I were you, I would like to take time, for example, spending approximately three hours or so, and to go through some of the bit regarding the industry, so to familiarise myself, to make sure that the answer quality looks high. Now, firstly, I would say that in this industry, there will be lots of real life companies with different business model. So which means that how they grow will be slightly different from companies to companies. So for example, a very famous company is called VCA Animal Hospitals. They usually used the organic way to grow the business. Now, in this particular industry, if you want to be a large business, usually it will be through buying other companies, which means the M&A mergers and acquisitions. However, if you decide to use the organic growth, yes, it will be slower for you to grow your business. At the same time, you will need to consider the transnational major structure. So this means that in our tuition lectures, we've talked about the major structure related to organization structure. Now, what do I mean by transnational? So this structure has been adopted by a lot of famous companies, for example, Madonna and HSBC and so on. So there would be the standardized process to be used. And of course, there would be different divisions operating 
in different areas. Now, each of these areas would need to follow the same standardized process set by the head office. And this is what I mean by transnational structure. So make sure you stay ready for that. Now, another company is called CVS Group PLC. Yes, it's the public listed company. However, for our company, it's not a public listed company at the moment. So we may be very uh, interested in acquiring a listing status on the exam day. Okay, so make sure that you're ready for that. Now, um, the advantage of being uh, using the MNA would be to expand rapidly. So, on the exam day, so everything is possible. The company may be turned into a public sector organisation. We're not particularly sure. So, for example, the funding problem, yes, an issue. So, uh, acquired by the local government. So, you may be required to comment on the characteristics of the public sector organisations that is within your syllabus. So, make sure so you're ready for that as well. However, it's not quite common in real life. Now, a business can also operate under a franchise model, so which means that allowing others, which means the franchisee, to use my ideas to operate a business. Now, a famous example for this is called Banfield Pet Hospital. Now, the idea behind the franchise model to be making sure it's successful is to make sure that you standardize the procedure. Okay, so making sure it's the quality of the surgical uh, procedure uh, would be okay, okay, across the different clinics, across different locations. And making sure that you've got a support system right in terms of marketing and so on. I will talk about that later on. Now, Companies such as Mars and Pet Care form into a joint venture agreement. So, for example, with the pet food companies to expand services and so on. Because in our company, not only we provide such services, but also we sell products. Okay, so for example, pet food and so on. And by having a joint venture with uh, other companies in other industries, we will certainly increase our market share. Alternatively, lots of these companies will operate independently or very small, okay? So they are likely to be the small town labourhood uh, veterinary practices. For example, usually operated under the sole trader mode. And of course, the advantage for that, yes, local focus. Okay, so uh, that's the idea behind it. Now, a very new way to grow the business would be to think about the telehealth services. Now a famous example for this is called the Fussy Pet Health. So this means that you can directly talk to the, uh, the doctor via the video, so for example using WhatsApp and so on, or over the internet. And for the company, certainly it will be having lower overhead as a result. Because by operating the clinic, for example, you need to pay rent, and that will be lots of overhead related to it. Now, this is why I've summarised the commonly seen growth method for such companies in this industry. Usually, operating using M&A, sometimes using the franchise model. Now, for the MA, the key to succeed would certainly be to operate the transnational structure and to make sure that you can standardize the procedure. Okay? Otherwise, after acquiring another business, the cultural conflict may arise. So if you cannot standardize the procedure and you're operating in the industry with facing lots and lots of risks, especially for the regulatory risk. I will see that in a second. Now, for the franchise model, on the other hand, a very good example for this is called the Pet IQ Incorporation. Now, making sure that standardization, again, is the key, because you are allowing your brand and the ways that you operate your business to be used 
by other companies. I would say that yes, very, very risky, but if you decide to use this model and to receive the franchise fee up front, so making sure that you perform regular audit and making sure that the exceptional report will be prepared for when you identify a discrepancy. Again, support systems will be absolutely key there regarding training, marketing, and even management system. Now, management system in the ACCA SBO exam, we are particularly talking about the plan, do, check, and review. Regarding the record keeping, the scheduling, and even the inventory management, regarding how we plan it, how we do it, how we check it, how we review it. So make sure that these systems are effective there. Now, as I said before, when we are operating in this industry, because we are sitting in the ACC exam, is the accountancy qualification exam. So this means that you will need to know the number. Now, before you dip into any numbers, it's very, very important that you understand what financial statements look like in this industry. I would say that in this industry, very high salary and wages that we need to pay to the doctor and nurses. At the same time, you will see the inventory days usually be around about a month, which means 30 to 45 days in, there, in typical companies in this industry. At the same time, you will see the revenue will be split into the vectoring services and even the product sales. Uh, the product sales, for example, the medications, pet food and accessories uh, for uh, your dog and cat will be quite commonly seen there. Now, in this industry, usually the profit margin, let's say the gross profit margin, measuring the competitiveness of a product around about 50% in there. However, paying lots of rent and other salary costs, so the operating profit margin around about 20%, similar to the ROCE, return capital employed. The current ratio is not particularly high enough because usually that we need to pay our suppliers regarding various stuff, various materials, and even the staff. And this is why the current ratio is around about 2 to 2.5. Now, the interest cover, relatively high in this industry, uh, and then the operational gearing, around about 30 to 50% in there, with significant fixed costs in this industry. Now, regarding this industry, I would say that this is a service industry, and this is why when we are talking about the cost management, yes, cost management, how we cost a uh, service that we determine our selling price, and that will impact on our budget as well. So it's important that we understand the composite cost unit idea for again to be used in this industry. Okay, so for example, the typical content will include firstly the veterinarian or the vet nurse time. So we usually use cost per minute for that. The surgical supplies, for example, the gloves, okay, so we're going to be seeing per procedure, okay, what will be a cost incurred. And their surgical team time, yeah, cost per hour in most circumstances. And the diagnostic test, okay, so for example, using x-rays and so on, cost per test. Number fifth, so for example, the vaccine dosage costs, okay, this pet needs to be vaccinated. So cost per dose, that will be another measure for that. Number six, for example, yes, some pet needs to stay in hospital for a couple of days. So the pet usage, because I would say that for some animals, there will be, for some pets, they'll be in a larger size than another. So cost per day per pet would be very suitable to measure the cost there. Now, regarding the cost component in this industry, yes, dividing the cost into materials, labour and overhead, I would say that labour accounts for approximately 50% uh, in companies in such industry. 
overhead accounting for another 30%. Now, what sort of things that would be included in overhead there? So, for example, it's the rent and the IT costs, IT controls, marketing and maintenance, and even the insurance costs. I will tell you about the insurance in a second. Now, I will say that there would be a few practical ways that we can control costs in this industry. Now, related to materials, I don't think that would be a big issue for that. So, for example, if you really want to decrease your cost, don't sacrifice on quality. But making sure is that you deal with the suppliers, for example, using a bulk purchasing option. Now, I've also included what real-life company actually did. Regarding labour, I would say that continuous training, making sure they reduce the waste in spending time with their clients and uh, having uh, procedures with their pet uh, and so on. So that's important. So don't think about, I would like to reduce my wages and salaries <laughs> for doctors and nurses. Uh, yes, in some countries this is okay, but in most of the countries this is not okay that because you fail to consider the uh, Union, uh, one of the major stakeholders that we need to face in this industry. However, for overhead, you will need to heavily consider ways to reduce these sort of costs in this industry. Okay, so for example, there will be very high operational costs. So, for example, because they will be using quite a lot of electrical devices, X rays, ultrasound, and even the surgical light. And this will consume lots of electricity expenses. And some of the clinics will be operating on a 724 basis. So this means that there will be lots of energy consumption there. So make sure you can think about ways um, to identify potential carbon uh, footprint and, and even the electricity consumption in this industry. That's very important. And of course, for some of the companies, of course, they would like to use the digital record rather than the paper record and um, to make sure that uh, having lower impact on the society, on the environment in particular. Okay, now, um, I would say that sometimes that if you're dealing with some pet with long term, which means longer lifespans, if, especially if the pet is quite old, it's quite large, requiring special treatment, for example, the pet may be undergoing the emergent situation. So, of course, this will drive up the cost. And this means that for our company, we need to be very, very flexible in making sure that we've got the right staff in dealing with these sort of emergency situations, that would be very, very important. Though. Now, as I said before, in this industry, in the pre scene you will need to go through very demanding exams and also on the job training. However, risk still exists. So, for example, if there are any adverse events, for example, it's the pet death in many circumstances, what companies should do is firstly to respond to it immediately, for example, to compensate for others, showing empathy and uh, the psychological support and communicating in a transparent way, conducting investigation and making sure that you talk to your lawyer and making sure you check your insurance as well to transfer your risk because according to the Tara model in uh, developing a risk strategy, it's very important that you transfer your risk properly. So this is why, for example, in 2015, that the incident happened in Banfield Pet Hospital, management did this right, following the above procedures correctly, and that's quite good. However, in 2016, another scandal in a company called Medivet Company, a dog died. However, at that particular time, the, the hospital did not really communicate with the pet owner in a transparent way. And no immediate compensation action at all, so the company actually suffers from 
legal risk by paying lots of damages as a result. So making sure that this needs to be dealt with properly. However, in the precinct, as you can see, in the final page for the financial information selected summary, we can see that the satisfaction score by a customer actually decreased over the years. So this means that we need to work very hard to deal with the risk management issue very, uh, in a proper way. Right, I'm going to be stopping the first recording now for the analysis of the PBS company and I look forward to seeing you in the second section in our course. Just a brief introduction of myself, my name is Steve and the fellow member of ACCA, course director at Global APC. I've got a proven track record of helping many students pass the SBA exam and predicted actual exam question areas So in the past. I'm sure that you will pass this paper easily with my help. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. APC, accounting for your future.